how are you? Hi, everybody. How are you today? Boy, is this going to be a good video. This is going to be great because someone just kind of sent me some information that really makes Margaret look like a liar, people. It really does. But before we get into all of that, let's pay the bills. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Hey guys, as you already know, I'm in love with Magic Spoon cereal because it fits so well into my lifestyle. It's zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Not only does it taste delicious, but it's also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. It's the perfect cereal to get my day started. Of course, Fruity is my favorite to-go flavor, but Magic Spoon is now allowing you to create your very own variety box. Click on the link below to get some Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your very own variety box and use my code Sherelle for $5 off. You could choose from the best-selling flavors, including my favorite, Fruity, Cocoa, Frosted, Peanut Butter, Cookies and Cream, Maple, Waffle, Blueberry, and Cinnamon. But wait. Magic Spoon is now adding Honey Nut to their permanent collection. So be sure to add Honey Nut to your custom box and try it out. So click the link below and use code Sherelle for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com backslash Sherelle to save $5 off your order today. And be sure to add the new flavor Honey Nut to your custom box. Also, for my Canadian and British fans, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the UK. Okay, let's get into it, people. Let's get into it. Okay, so last night's episode of New Jersey was good. I mean, I, I like New Jersey. It's pre It was pretty good last night. But uh, Teresa was acting like a madman again. <laughs> she was acting like a madman. But she may have a reason to. Okay, so on last night's episode, she accused Margaret of basically... Uh, doing the same thing that Lisa Vanderpump was accused of. I told you guys, they all sell stories to the blogs. They find their favorite blogger and they just kind of slide them information. It's nothing new. Are we shocked? No. But for some reason, in last night's episode, Teresa got it through her thick skull that it was Margaret that was selling bad stories, or not even selling, sometimes they just give it to you because they want it out there, giving bad stories to the blogs about Louie. Just in case you forgot, let me refresh your memory. You're really smart, right? Yeah. Yes. You're really, you know, yeah. Do you claim to you, like you say you are, right? I am. I don't oh, know you are. Okay, don't you think what's going on with Louie? It's so black and white. It's whoever it's follows it's that blogger, every time something big happened with us, something would come out. And who would bring this out? They were Margaret. There, she said it. She said, Margaret, you're not fooling me. You're the one that's giving all these bad stories to Louie. Straight out. And of course, Margaret flat out denied it. She said, how would I know these exes of Louie's? That's what she said at the table. How would I know it? Someone sent me some information. Let me put this on the screen. Someone sent me an email. So Sherelle... This is going around the internet. Margaret's a bold-faced liar. She most definitely knows Louie's ex. Let me put it up here. And here's the proof. I'm going to show it to you guys here. Let me put it up. Let me put it up, people. Let me put it up. Um, to practice some self-love, go to shopmargaretjosephs.com and, and sort of give themselves a little treat. Um, I really like it. It's really, really beautiful. And I appreciate you. Be safe. There you have it. According to the rumors, that's Louis' ex. Her name is Vanessa Reisner. And uh, she just shouted out Margaret. Let me put this on the screen. For giving her some jewelry. <laughs> so I said, well, how do we know that's Louis' ex? So I had to keep looking. Okay, so here is a picture of Louis and Vanessa. Put it on the screen, people. Let me put it on the screen. Does this look like Vanessa? I would say it does. <laughs> Marge, are you kidding me right now? That's her. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so, Marge. Please say you have not caused all of this ruckus. 
it would kind of make sense because Teresa was extremely mad. Let me put this back up. Extremely mad last night, going back into madman mode, okay? Instead of flipping tables, at the end, she decided to push everyone's food over. Like, you know, like like uh, prostitution whore days. You guys remember a big table, and here she is clowning as if it was still season two with... Um, God, who, who was the first person she flipped out on? Uh, what is her name? Daniel Staub. And this time it's Margaret. Could it be? Could it be, you guys? Could it be? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that's her. Marge, you got caught in a lie. What are you doing? Thank you guys for reminding me of the banner. I say with beyond a reasonable doubt, that is Vanessa shouting out Margaret. I'll play it again one more time. So here's the picture of, put it back up, of Vanessa. Let's take a good look at it again, guys. This has got to be, this has got to be a joke. This has to be a joke. You have not got caught red handed, have you? So here's Vanessa. That's what she looks like standing next to Louie. Okay. Let's remove that. Here's the video again. Let's do it again. Take two. Them to practice some self-love. Go to shopmargaretjosephs.com and, and sort of give themselves a little treat. Um, I really like it. It's really, really beautiful. And I appreciate you. Be safe. Beyond a reasonable doubt, that's Vanessa. Margaret, what are you doing? Okay. There's so much going on in New Jersey last night. It wasn't even funny. Number one. I don't like the way that Melissa does not stand up for her friend, her sister-in-law. She says, I don't like the way, you know, I feel so uncomfortable that she doesn't like all of my friends. It makes me so uncomfortable. Friends. And now lying friends. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing was insane. I do not blame Teresa for not making Melissa, who you're stuck with, through husband, your her, your brother, I wouldn't make her a bridesmaid either. She's not loyal enough for me. Margaret, you got caught in a bold face lie. Listen, it is, I like you, Margaret, but you are the last person to be in anyone's business. First of all, you're a homewrecker yourself. No shade, just facts, okay? Remember, you know, you cheated on your husband and slept with a couple bosses you didn't want to. You said it, I didn't. I'm just saying. Okay, so why are you judging Louie? Why are you all in his relationship? If she seems happy with him, back off. What does that have to do with you? You're calling people out left and right. <laughs> I'm not being mean. You guys, are, no, listen, she admits to being a homewrecker. She admits that Mark Sr. was a homewrecker. This is not, no, I'm not being shady. You guys are calling me shady. I'm not being shady. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. But listen, you know, these women do not know how to keep their legs close to merry men. Oh my God. They don't. I know you guys are so bad. Leave me alone in the comments. I'm, I'm on a roll, people. I'm on a roll. You're always, I'm on the bully side. I'm not. I'm just saying, if this tape is true, it shows without beyond a reason without that margaret you're lying this explains why and she it, she broke it down don't make me play the tape again she goes to certain blogs you develop a relationship with them and then they will bring out the story the way that they want it you wanted it viewed now i'm, I'm just gonna admit it okay I, if i'm calling out everybody dirt this has happened to me before <laughs> like, i've developed relationships with some talent and you know they'll say Sherelle you know do me a favor can you do and you just develop relationships okay I'll go ahead and tell this story this way I, I do it I'm not perfect people I'm a blogger I'm far from perfect we have to develop relationships in this business okay and I might tell a story and everyone in the chat might say Sherelle what's wrong with you <laughs> like, uh, I'm exchanging a favor for a favor that's what I'm doing people a favor for a favor. That's how it's worked. That's how the game is played. 
I'm not the only blogger to do it. I'm the only one that will admit it. So I might give you, I might give a story that they want slanted in their favor. Okay. You know, go against the grain, you slant in their favor. They might give me some information about what's going on, who's getting fired. If that's how it works, how do you think I don't work on that set? How do you think I know all this information? It is what it is, people. So I think that, um, Mark, you just got caught. You got caught, caught, caught. Everyone says that Teresa is the bully. She might be, but right now, looks like she's telling the truth. And it looks like Margaret is hands aren't as clean as she's pretending to be. Not, your hands are not clean, Marge. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I really, really, Quentin. <laughs> I can't give away my secrets, but that's how the game is played. I'm, pro listen, I'm not the only blogger that this happens to. There are, t that's how the game is played. Pick a blogger that's probably over 100,000 and they've all got their connections. It is what it is. It, I think, I remember the first time it happened to me. The first time it happened to me, I was at 70,000. I had a housewife reach out to me. First, she, uh, Asked me, oh, how do I cash app you? She, she was wooing me, people. She was wooing me. And then we became friends and I started hooking her up. It is what it is. That's why everyone on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills should be ashamed of themselves because they caught uh, Lisa Vanderpump out, but they all do it. They all do it. And I'm the only one bold enough or dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> to admit to it, people, it is what it is. Uh, let's take some of your. <laughs> no, it's not new info, Natalie. You guys know I've said it before. I said it. Or not only that, or or sometimes if you really like a certain cast member and you just tell stories in their favors, they'll reach out to you. <laughs> you're not shook Quentin you are not shook okay you are not <laughs> yeah owning it I'm owning it people I'm owning it I will come on here with the story that I know just I know this person is dead wrong and I might sway it just a mm, you know just a mm, just a little bit in exchange for a favor that's how it is that's how it is and it looks like Margaret's doing the same thing you guys are crazy <laughs> oh my God. No, no. <laughs> I just say, now listen, put a one in the chat if you think that March is the one selling the tap, or not selling, giving the these stories to her favorite blogger like Teresa is accusing her of. That's how the game is played. Thank you, Andrea. You know, Andrea knows how it works. Listen. They, they agree. One, one, one. Marge, you got caught. You got caught. Okay. It is what it is. She is either trying to keep her uh, job and going after the head honcho Teresa, jealous of Teresa, don't, doesn't like Teresa. Something is going on. I don't know why she is giving the blogs these stories, but she is. So you're basically implying that Teresa's can't fit you this story to portray in a certain light. No, 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 that's not how I work. I can't give that kind of evidence. But I'm saying that the information given to me about Vanessa knowing Marge is true. I believe it, and it's blowing Margaret's story out of the water. I love that. <laughs> there you go. Listen, and you guys agree with me. Look at this. Look at this. You guys agree with me. Margaret, you got busted. Busted, busted, busted. And not only that, like sometimes too. Blogging is cr Oh, Sheila, you don't believe it. Mm, Sheila, don't make me play the tape again. That is, without a doubt, Vanessa. I don't know, Sheila. Let me drop the link. This, I said I wasn't going to drop the link. Let me just drop it and just take a couple calls because I want to hear what you guys have to say. Because 
Another thing, a lot of people are complaining that Teresa's behavior last night was ridiculous and violent and Bravo should do, should do something about it. What, catch up. Bravo's never going to do anything about Teresa's bad behavior. They're just not. Number one, it didn't get physical yet. Like, she almost did it. She just knocked everything over. Two, that's her franchise. It is what it is. She's one of Andy Cohen's favorite. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. Here, we got a couple calls. Hi, AJ. Hi, Sherelle. How are you? Hey, Sheila. Hello. Hey, Sharon. Hi. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Sheila. You don't think that Marge is feeding stories to the blogs? I personally, um, I just don't like Teresa. So <laughs> Be because well, Teresa has been nasty and mean to people. I just don't like her. Yeah. Yeah, she is. She, but she is very nasty. What does she do in this situation that Marge is uh, selling stories to or not selling, giving stories to the blogs? But, and she you know, did, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You're not shocked that uh, we've got our favorite talents that we work with, are you? No, I'm not shocked at all. But I, I just feel like personally, if you're in public, you, you shouldn't be acting like a buffoon. And that's yeah. what she and that's what I don't like about her. I just I don't like the image that a man is end all and everything. And that's how she acts. That's how she ended up going to jail before. So, hey. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> AJ, what are your thoughts? Is, is Marge caught? Oh, my God. Marge, that was so good television. That was so good. She so deserved that. I'm sorry. She did, kind of. I think that, you know, very, very clever woman. And they've said that before doing the episode where they said um, she's good at looking up information and finding out about, she knows everything. Yeah. So I'm not yeah. surprised that, um, you know, that she's selling stories. What do you I'm think, Sharon? Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. And I do believe that uh, Marge is trying to, I do believe that Marge is trying to take the top spot because I've, I've listened to a lot of interviews that she's done uh -huh. and she was telling people, it's not the Teresa show. Yeah. And the only reason why that, um, what did she say? The only reason why um, they, they waited on her is because they couldn't get cast for the uh, upcoming season while Teresa was in prison. So, so you think that Marge is pulling a coup d'etat? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I do. Marge, people, listen, people, you like Marge. Marge is a snake in the grass. Watch her. Mm. Mm. She is. She's good TV, though, isn't she? She's very good TV. I like watching her. Although... I don't yep. really like her, but she's good for the show. And I've been watching her, Sherelle, and you were dead on. Yeah. What, what do you think, think of uh, Federica? Oh. <laughs> I think she's a kook. Who? Uh, Teresa? No, the, the other one. Mar you think Marge is a nut job? <laughs> yes, a nut job. A big time nut job. I'm sorry, I've never been on this before. Do you think that she's trying to devalue Teresa on the show and perhaps take her spot? Oh, yes, she is. Definitely. Oh, my God. I mean, or is she trying to save her job? Because if you don't stand up to Teresa, you will get ran over. Both. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still there, AJ? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't know. It looks like it's frozen. I'm so sorry. I was going to say as well, like, it's very interesting because, like, um, Margaret, I think she may hold, she might be holding a little bit of a grudge against Teresa. Remember, like, a few seasons ago when Danielle Stubbs was on there and she was encouraging her to, right. you know, my hair. And it all came out at the reunion. Uh, and Teresa gave her, like, a sort of a flimsy excuse. I was on that show. She accepted it. And I think she was just sort of forced to accept it because 
she's not she didn't have the presence on the show so she couldn't really go against Teresa but I well, think if this is true like you gotta think about it Teresa, Teresa is no angel she knows no. how to do reality TV mm. Barge is no angel if this is true and it looks like it is they're just going at it made the best man win yes it's so shocking to see and like but I'm not surprised um, because Margaret is it has been said that she's a bit of an information collector. So she likes to collect information on everybody on the show. And I think it was Jackie that said that she knows everything about everybody. Maybe that's why Melissa's scared. Because she knows <laughs> Melissa. I don't like the way Melissa treats Teresa. Oh. What do you think, Andrea? You know what? That Marge is playing the best game of her life. She's making sure that everybody else be business be in the street except for her business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you she's, believe that that she she's does. playing? She's playing that New Jersey game real good. Uh, get, make sure everybody else keep an eye on everybody else, and she's like, uh, she don't know, you know. She, she put all the stuff on everybody else, but Marge is playing a, a real good game. She really is. Everybody yeah. think Marge is stupid. She dumb. Marge is not stupid. She's sneaky. She's sneaky. Sneaky, yeah. Queen snake, that's what I call her. And dumb, dumb Jackie seems to be believing her. Now, I've heard information that that whole Evan thing was true. Have you guys heard about that? I heard that too. That he really that. was messing around with some girl at a gym. But yeah. and you heard that? I believe it. I heard that too. I believe yeah, you heard it. it too. Yeah, it's going all around, and she's just going a little repping uh, Margaret a little too hard. So is uh, Teresa. What are your thoughts, Andrea, on uh, Melissa? The way Melissa treats Teresa. Well, you, well, you know, uh, uh, Melissa's getting Teresa back for over the years of how Teresa treated her. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember uh -huh. Teresa? Ter Teresa uh, uh, treated Melissa like shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's just giving it back to her. She haven't forgotten how Teresa treated her. Yeah. She will be on the side of a rubber band yeah. versus Teresa. And it's getting it's getting on my nerve because I believe when you're family, you treat me a certain way in public. You don't have to jump on my side, but you don't have to help them get me either. But y'all remember, y'all remember what? Is it two years ago, maybe, when uh, Melissa got with her sisters and they were talking about how uh, Teresa behavior was uh, really out, outrageous. You remember when they sit around and start talking about Teresa? Yeah, yeah. She, she ain't really been for Teresa. She just getting Teresa back for the time that Teresa talked about her and did her dirty. It's a get back. And she was, she was acting very surprised that she doesn't want her as a bridesmaid. Like, why would she? I mean, they're not close. Teresa said they're not even close. And remember when she was on the Ultimate Girls trip, um, with her, she pretty much said to Luann and everyone else, Kenya, that they were, she never got any support. This was like the biggest support she's had yep. from any women. Yep. And I was like, what? From all these, like other, especially Luann and so, like, you know, Ramona? I was so surprised. Now, so Enigma is saying that Melissa doesn't owe Teresa anything. I disagree, Enigma. They are sister-in-laws, which means they're family. You can't just think about yourself anymore. It's supposed to be about the group. But but yes, yeah, you're real. I, I agree with that too, but it, you you got to look, look how Teresa did Melissa over the years. Yeah, that is well, true. She came on the show. She tried yeah. to on the show behind her back. Right. So they weren't communicating and they had a huge family fallout. I remember. Right. But here's the thing, Andrea. If you're a family and you come into a family, aren't you supposed to make that family work? At what point don't we move on? Especially well, if your parents are real gone. family do that, but we can't call them a real family. They all fake. They're supposed They're to be a real fake. family. Yeah. They're supposed to be a real family. At right. some point, family is supposed to stick together, especially since that's Teresa's only living relative now, is her brother. I agree. I agree, but you have to look at it. When Melissa first came on the show, Teresa did not want Melissa on the show. She didn't want her other cousin, her other two cousins on the show. 
She didn't want none of them on the show but herself. Yeah. 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 So I remember that. I would well, want to share. Do you I'm agree with Andrea? Do you think Teresa's behavior was so bad towards Melissa that mm -hmm. Melissa will never forget it? Mm -hmm. Well, in the beginning, it was really bad. But do you remember when uh, Teresa got out of jail and they sat in uh, uh, Melissa's kitchen? And they talked about everything, and they said, don't let anyone or anything come between them again. They stick together. Yep. Melissa has not been sticking up for Teresa. Uh, thank she you, She goes Sharon. the opposite way. Yeah, what about that, they, Maddie? they made a they pact. They lied. Yeah. They lied. Yeah. Both of them lied. Both of them made a lie. That lasted only that season yeah. when Jackie was on this. You remember when Jack, when the, when they all came back? after she went mm -hmm. to prison and uh, Jackie came back to the show. We had Dolores and I, I don't remember the other one. She was so funny, but, but yeah, she was signing with Teresa then. And um, since then it's just gone a little bit down. Since have you mm -hmm. he and um, what's her name? Um, Margaret came on the show. It's changed. What are your thoughts, Maddie? Uh, about Margaret? <laughs> Just join the conversation, yeah. Well, um, Margaret always been a fraud for me. Damn. Uh, from the moment she came on the show, I was like, I did like her, but Siggy was on something. There's a reason why Siggy did not like her when they were both on. Ever yeah, since she came after my girl, Jennifer, she showed her true colors. Oh, you like and Jennifer, too? I love Jennifer. I know you a fan. I'd be on. I'd be watching you guys. This is my first time calling you, and I'm really nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. J join the conversation because we need as many Jennifer supporters as we can get. Oh, I don't wow. care what she does, how drunk she gets. How I love that. I mean, she can never oh. do wrong by me. <laughs> like anything Jennifer does, I'm right there with her. And the fact that Margaret came for her for no reason, like people need to. People are forgetting that Jennifer is the one that got cheated on. Yeah. She wasn't doing the cheating. Margaret, um, Margaret, the, you know, the home record, uh, she's mm -hmm. jealous of. She is. She is jealous. Like it's, like, it's not our fault you went and chose a plumber. It's not our fault. Jennifer understood the assignment and she got herself a doctor. She can only be mad at herself. Yeah. <laughs> but but, but y'all remember, y'all remember it was always Teresa uh, uh, Jennifer and uh, what's that other man looking woman name? What's her name? Uh, man looking woman, yeah, what I said. What was her name? The one with Frank, the one that was Dolores. Frank. Dolores. Dolores. You, you remember Frank. it was those uh, three. Uh, 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 uh. I don't like the one that was those, those three. There was three that was against Margaret, uh, uh, uh Jackie, and Melissa. You, you think Dolores looks like a man, really? Well, sometimes she do. <laughs> Why are you saying this? She's so pretty. She well, like, is it me? Like, speaking of um, Dolores, is it me or like, there's something shady about Frank? I don't care what anybody says about there's Frank. Some... Yes! Oh yeah, yeah, baby, it's something. Like, what, yeah, like what? Yeah. What do you think is shady about Frank? Why did he get this Bart? We never talked about that. <laughs> they need to tell us why the hell he got this Bart. I do not trust any lawyer that's this Bart. I don't trust anything he says. He was the one that told my girl Jennifer about the um Jackie's husband. Yes. He's true. He said it. He's like he's lying. And Dolores is covering up. I don't trust her either. She's a snake. Well, yes. isn't the rumor is that Dolores is supposed to be mob related? Yep. Allegedly. Yeah. Maybe Frank is just I say, I, okay, okay. Okay. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, but you gotta like the boys, all with the exception of Evan. He's a little bitch. Sorry, Evan. No, Evan, the, Evan cheated on his wife. I don't care what anybody says. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. Wife. Yeah, yeah. I the believe. He went after Bill. I had to. I, I had to pause and rewind. I was a wife. Yeah, he, he went after him. Bill for something his wife did. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you went after Bill because you're scared your secret's gonna come out. Evan, stop. But he was have you guys noticed? Um, let me show you this again. That Jackie's eating now. I want you to just look at her face. Look. This one. Hold on. Let me see. You see this picture? <gasps> yeah. It looks good. I'm glad she's eating. Yeah. She needs she to start yeah. eating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 
It don't matter. Yeah. Help her see her face. She needs to go. She needs. You don't yeah, but she needs to. She needs to uh, get off the show because she, she admitted that the show was making her stressful, and the fight that she had with Teresa made her lose three pounds. But yet she's still on the show. Mm -mm. She needs to go. She doesn't. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna say one last thing. I'm gonna get off. All of them is shady. All of them is shady, shady, shady. Except for Jennifer. Don't forget. No, except for Jennifer. Oh, okay, okay, Sharia. Okay, Sharia. <laughs> except for Jennifer, but she's a drunk. Bye. Oh, my she's God. She's entertaining. She's entertaining. I love the fact that she's drunk and having a good old time. She, that's why the girls are mad. Her husband is rich. She can get drunk. Her, her husband has a real job. I'm sorry. A, a real, real job. job. So she gets to go out and drink. I don't understand these jealous girls. Jealous, jealous, jealous. He's Listen, jealous. Sheila, do you do? Were you here when Andrea reminding us or somebody on here that they made a pact, Teresa and uh, and Melissa, that they were going to be family again? Yes, I remember that. But to me, Teresa is a laurel. If you, I mean, if you went back from the beginning of the days and when she came on the show. What she did to her sister, what she did to her brother, what she how she did her cousin. Oh, wow. You, you <laughs> not Rosie. Are you talking about you Rosie know. and yes. um... her, her Rosie, <laughs> Rosie's <laughs> sister? It's like she had to be the only one in the family that had the fame. I get that, but what she made didn't come out of their paychecks. So well, I didn't now that I never Teresa did has that. lost both of her parents. Uh, Juicy Joe, don't you think she's changed a little bit? No, she, no, no. AKA little bitch boy. Oh, 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 that's all right. So uh, last night, a lot of people were complaining about Teresa's behavior and her calling Margaret white trash. Yes. You, you got offended too? Uh-huh. You, you think she should be reprimanded? Uh, she, you know what? That's just like calling somebody the N word. Yeah, yeah. And that's if, what, that, yeah. if that's the first thing you go to when you're in an argument, someone's uh -huh. race, that says a lot about who you are. Yeah. Oh, I can't really defend that when you explain it that way. It's true. Yeah. She did call her white trash, but. Yeah. It's terrible it, that she did that. She shouldn't have done that. That was a big mistake. But I don't think it's the same as calling someone the N-word, but. It was bad. She shouldn't have done that. I I think that if you're Caucasian, that's that's the lowest thing somebody can call you. I think. I know it's not the same. I'm just saying no. in comparison, someone yeah. saying that if that's the first thing they go to, which your race is versus yeah. having an argument about something you did, that says something about who they are as a person. Yeah, and it's not very intelligent. As well, she could have said so many other things. You this, you that, and right. something. Well, Teresa away, but... isn't that smart anyway. So hey, yeah, well, you know what? what? Put yourself in Teresa's shoes, though, Sheila. Uh, Margaret's playing a, a head game with her. Margaret is winning. Yeah. If if, if... in what way? Like I don't think Margaret is winning because she's exposing herself as she's she... she's winning because every week she's controlling the narrative. Yeah. Not she's into the reunion. Like a weirdo. She's making Louie look like a weirdo, okay? And he is a weirdo, though. Let's talk about it. <laughs> we don't know. We're listening to what we read in the blogs. And, and when Vanessa came out and said all that stuff about Louie, and then that crazy tape came out when he's in the wilderness uh, proposing yeah. to another woman, he's a weirdo. Yeah. But he and hasn't done anything on the show. And it was the Would, first thing she said on the beginning of the season was about Louis. Have you seen the video? She yeah, was, yeah. Like, and it's always yeah. Margaret. It's no one else. Yeah. We never heard Jackie say, have you seen the video of Louis? It's always Margaret. Margaret's busted. You got caught in your lie. And now the real show is going to begin. Do you guys think that is a revenge plot? Sorry. Do you guys no, go ahead, Maddie. You guys think it's a revenge plot because um, Teresa told Danielle to pull her hair, mm -hmm. and now she wants to take uh, Teresa down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I think, think so. so. I think, I think so. Because she had this build-up anger towards her for now, like two, three years, and Margaret 
like they keep saying that she hides things and she keeps a lot of things close to her chest and she knows everything about everybody. And I think they're scared. I mean, even Jackie said she was a little bit scared and Dolores was scared. I mean, they're scared of her. That's what I think. Um, she knows but things you about everyone. Think about it. The whole cast is against Teresa, except for Jennifer and sometimes Dolores. Look, Dolores has been going back and forth a little bit this season. The biggest <laughs> with Lapper. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, want, this is what they want. Like, you, have you noticed? Like, what? In order for it to be a successful show, everybody's got to be against Teresa. Like the most iconic, like um, seasons and episodes have been entire family against her at one point and she that is what makes a great television and i think they deliberately bring people in to play with her and maybe producers have told margaret you know why don't you bring this up maybe because she's been a little bit stale and she's been trying to be like you know zen but they don't want her to be zen you know yeah that was they, enough, it can't oh, be God. zen no it can't yeah. be zen so and someone Margaret's referred to what Someone referred to uh, Jennifer as an ass. Who? I, 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 ooh, I just said the word. I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> In the chat, that she's an ass kisser. Or is Jennifer smart? If you come on the show, you make an enemy out of Teresa, she's going to make it hard for you. Now, isn't that's true, right, Sheila? That's yeah, I, I agree with that. And I think what she's doing is she's trying to stay out of the way so nothing else bad comes up about her relationship. Yeah, yeah. And it's so it's up the whole production of The Real Housewives for Teresa when she went to prison. They shut it all down like for more yep. than a year. Yep. Nearly yep. two right. years. For Teresa, they could have gone on, but they chose not to. And I think maybe Melissa's a little bit, you know, you, they cost her a lot of money because she could have made all that money, but everybody ended up paying and then they fired everybody. Yeah, I'll say this because I'm going to wrap it up. This is going to be so good because I think that Marge is the one leaking the story. I don't think Teresa is going to sit back and take it. Right. There's going to be some major turmoil. I don't think they're going to do anything about Teresa's behavior. She can call people white trash and whatever she wants. They love this behavior from her. They just do. And yeah. it's unfair because it if it would have been someone else, they would have been calling, saying Teresa uh, threw a low blow below the belt and all this. But they're not going to say anything to her. They're just going to let this unwind and with that being said i don't think anybody in this cast needs to go with the exception of the true home record and that would be <laughs> Teresa. i'm tracy tracy oh i forgot about her yeah you had an affair with a man while his <laughs> wife was seven months pregnant that 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 that's that's low that's low and notice how she always has something to say and she always has something to say i do not like tracy one single bit or Sherelle, Tiki, Tiki, I'm. Uh, you can go too. Bye, Tiki. Bye. Bye, Tiki. I've yeah, been you. agreeing with that. Yeah. 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 Sherelle, Tiki, you are asked right off out of here. I do not like Tiki. I do not like. Um, Tracy. Not like Tiki. I just don't like Tracy. Tracy's manipulative. You see how she's trying to insert herself in situations when no one's talking to her. And who brought her on the show, Melissa? Melissa and Melissa oh. give her all the tea about Teresa so she can go after Teresa. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Maria. Do you think, um, Sherelle, I've got a question for you. I'm interested in if you what you think. Do you think that this table yeah. was more iconic than the first one, or do you think this is uh, how what do you, you think, Sheila? Oh, you don't like her. What do you think, Sharon? <laughs> now. The first, the first one. The first one. Mm -hmm. She actually yeah. flipped the table over. This one, she just kind of pushed glass. I wish but she would have flipped the whole table over on Marge. I think this one was a little worse because she was breaking glass. She was breaking glass. Yeah. yeah. She was breaking she glass. She could have cut her hand. She, um, everybody's dish was ruined because there was glass everywhere. So yeah. I would say this one. But to be honest, I do think um, March is March is contacting the blogs, but I just don't like Teresa. 
and she is totally contacting the blogs. If she contacts me, I'll let you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If I was Teresa. It- if I was Teresa, I would try to go, uh, I would dig some dirt on Margaret. I would go find out her ex-husband. What the mm. hell happened between her and ex-husband and those kids that do not want to talk to her? And I would go, go find those show. kids that don't want to talk to her. That yep. yeah. And the ex-husband, and I'm bringing, I'm bringing them on on the show. Let's discuss. Since you want to talk about my dirt, you want to talk about everybody's dirt, let's talk about your dirt. Yeah. There was All no right. children yeah. we want to talk about. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, hold on one second. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much for calling in. I will be there next week. And if I get more dirt on Margaret, I will definitely, definitely, definitely spill the tea. Okay, guys? Okay. Thank you so much. Real quick, I have a question. Are you, are you going to do any more stories on Love at the Lockup? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not in the love after lockup this season, but I got a ton of interviews scheduled. So, oh, please, you got to do start doing it. on Indian and Harry. And Harry, yeah, oh. yeah, that's good. I don't know. I, eventually, I'll have to start doing it again because I do have to do those interviews, Sheila. Good, good, right. good. Thank have you, a great God. day. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> Bye, AJ. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up. Uh, Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I do believe beyond a reasonable doubt, Marge is the one giving the tabloids, the blogs, stories. Okay, guys, I'll be back at my scheduled time. Until next time, bye for now.